Hi everyone, the time is 17.48. Wonderful. Why is that important? Okay. I've been playing. Oh, you got it. I stuck it on my windowsill so you can see it's nice and bright. Bear with me while I change position. Right. I've been playing with one of these. Ah, a bit too bright, I think. Right, what is this? It's a stepper motor. Right, it's out of a um, uh, Lexmark bubble jet printer. Okay. Four wires. Not that you can see that. Hang on. Hmm. I won't. Right, now. One good thing about these stepper motors is... I think you can see that. I'm going to turn it right, between poles, you ready? There you go. I'll turn it back again. Next pole, and the next pole, and the next pole, and the next one, and again, and again. Right, so the poles are extremely close together in these things. Right, it's probably, um, if I had to hazard a guess, probably five degrees between poles, something like that. Right, so been playing with one of them. Right. This pack of batteries here, AA batteries, are extremely old. They are nickel metal hydride, right? And that's their current voltage. 10.65. Right. Standard Bedini circuit. Except um, transistor is a FET. And I don't know if you can see. There we go. Using static resistors quite a few of them and for some reason this camera doesn't want to do close-ups oh well what can I say so uh, what's the total resistance on there well you've got two 100 kilo ohm resistors two one three one kilo ohm resistors and 50 kilo ohms so 200 53 kilo ohms of resistance on there. One lead acid battery, two multimeters. Voltage on the left, current on the right. So at the moment it's not uh, drawing anything. Right, just a standard circuit. None of my mods on it. Right, kick it off. Come on. For some reason, doesn't like starting when cold. Um, up, down falls the multimeter. Reconnect it. Okay. Stick it in that hole. Uh, I've just dropped it down by 50 kilo ohms. There we go. Can you hear it? Right, it's running away. So. Let's see how long it takes this to start up. So it will be um, in multiple parts. Okay, current is up there. Voltage on the left, current on the right. 123 milliamps. It's drawing. Right. That pack of batteries, as I said, extremely old. Probably 10 years old. Uh, heavily abused, um, very bad state. Um, I've tried to uh, charge them the normal way. I've tried to charge them with a solar panel, um, and they don't want to play ball. So I'm going to see what a stepper motor will do to them. Next update. Time is 18:54. Uh, plus one day. Yeah, so it's 26 hours later. Right, where are we up to? Voltage on the primary battery. 12.35. Um, yes, it's dropped. 
voltage on the charge battery 10.82 so it's gone up by uh, 0.2 volts ish um, which is fine see still the same setup frequency has changed slightly which is interesting um, still going uh, but that point two of a volt rise is actually uh, good believe it or not um, because I couldn't even get that with the uh, belt charge in them so hmm not bad I'll report back uh, when there's more change right time is 2041 um, so that's um, two days three hours four hours right shall we take a look at uh, where it's up to 10.96 97 96 make up your mind right so has it worked yes um, but it is incredibly slow um, I've stopped it for the moment um, hmm, what can I say it's not bad but it's not brilliant so hmm. anyway I'm going to uh, recover the rest of those batteries uh, another way I right, hope people find this interesting um, feel free to ask any questions talk to you later